Before we get into today's video, I just want to make a correction to my Transformers Rise of the Beast theories and prediction video. In that video, I said that Unicron was the leader of the Terracons. Scourge is actually the leader of the Terracons, not Unicron. Hello there. Hey guys, it's Chris, and in today's video, I'm showing off my complete Star Wars collection. This collection does not include pop figures. Those you can check out on my pop figure playlist. I just wanted to show off all my other Star Wars stuff besides just pop figures. Today's video is sponsored by Raise Energy by Rep Sports. Their website will be in the description. Use my coupon code, you'll get 15% off on all items on the website. Demand more. Be more. The People's Energy Drink. Let's get into it. First, I have four Star Wars pins. Here is one of them. This is the Dark Trooper from the second season of The Mandalorian. Let me zoom that in. The Dark Trooper Wrecker from the Bad Batch. I have three out of the five Bad Batches. I'm missing Tech and Crosshair. Echo. My favorite is probably Echo or Hunter. Hunter. He kind of reminds, he's basically the leader. He's the leader of the Bad Batch. Everybody listens to him. What he says goes. Next is my favorite Star Wars movie. That is Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Hello there, General Kenobi. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. You underestimate my power. Don't try it. There's a lot of memes from Revenge of the Sith, but even before that, it was my favorite Star Wars movie. The battle of Obi-Wan and Anakin on Mustafar, Yoda, <laughs> Execute Order 66. Actually, looking after Revenge of the Sith, a lot of people died during Order 66, but at the same time, a lot of people lived, especially Jedis. <laughs> Look at Grogu. He got out of that Jedi temple. He survived. <laughs> and I own all of the other episodes, all nine episodes, including this one, digitally. So I think they were doing a sale on all the movies digitally for like 40 bucks, and I got them a while ago on sale. So got them all digitally. This one, I just, I, I remember having this one on DVD from way back in the day. Next, we have one of the best tie-in games I think there is. One of the best, like, movie tie-in games is Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. I know you fight Count Dooku, you fight Anakin on Mustafar. So I do remember how the lightsaber battles were actually hard, but they were actually pretty fun in this game. Revenge of the Sith for the PS2. One of, my, one of the best movie tie-in games, in my opinion. Now, I have a nice book collection for Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, which is all right, not my favorite prequel movie. It probably would be Revenge of the Sith. I just wasn't wasn't a big fan on it. The Battle of Genosis, that was pretty cool though. That was pretty cool how Mace Windu cut, cut Boba Fett's head off, <laughs> or Jango Fett's head off. He cut somebody's head off, Mace Windu. Battle of Geno Genosis, Genosis? Now I have, I actually have the Star Wars trilogy, the original one, A New Hope which is obviously one of the best ones, the original one. Can't beat the original one. But out of the original trilogy, I like The Empire Strikes Back. The next one, The Empire Strikes Back. I am your father. <laughs> That's just been memed and parodied so many times, and everybody knows what it's from. And we have the last one of the original trilogy, Return of the Jedi, which, like I said, out of all the original trilogy, my favorite is The Empire Strikes Back. And I have a spin-off novel, Star Wars, The Last of the Jedi, which is basically like a Palpatine spin-off story. It tells Palpatine's, you know, it just it's its own little spin-off thing. Star Wars, Book of Sith. Now this really explains the lore and history behind the Sith. They're handwritten notes by Darth Vader, Darth Sidious, and other Force users. Sith weapons, Sith holograms, Sith ambulance. <laughs> There's a lot, and this book really explains a lot about the Sith. I would recommend it highly if you're a big Sith fan, you want to learn about all of them, like in the past, Dark Sidious. This book will really help you a lot. Next, I have two Star Wars graphic novels. Here's the first one, Obi-Wan and Anakin. I actually like this one because it's got Obi-Wan and Anakin, both with their blue lightsabers on the cover. My dad collected a lot of graphic novels, so when I went to like the Mall of New Hampshire and the Mall of Newberry, I got to found two of these Star Wars comic books, so that's why I'm showing them off again, because, I mean, it's fucking Obi-Wan and Anakin, that's awesome. <laughs> Pretty good Jedi team, in my opinion. <laughs> well, they were. Next, we have Star Wars TIE Fighters. It's a solid, thrilling, 
TIE Fighter Adventure. My last Star Wars merchandise is the full script for Temp Tempest Runner. Now, Tempest Runner is basically a story set in the High Republic era. If I had this as like an audio book, I could just play the audio and then just look at this because this is basically a full script. And you know me, guys, I like to type up scripts for all my videos. So I was like, that's pretty cool. And this is like a $30 book. I got it at, I think, like a thrift store for like 10, 15 bucks. So I got it almost half off. So pretty good deal. And hardcover books, they're way more than soft covers. So 15 bucks, I was like, nice. Wish we got a Star Wars property or Star Wars movie, series, whatever, during the High Republic era. If they made something during the High Republic era, I'd watch it. <laughs> all right, that was all my Star Wars merchandise. Don't forget to check out my pop playlist. I have quite a few pop videos showing off a lot of my Star Wars pops. You can go check out those videos if you want to see my Star Wars pops. This was kind of like all my media that I had that were besides pops. So, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, don't forget that like and subscribe button. Peace. May the forest be with you.